Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Poop My Filter and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the API Rena Philstar XP2 also known as XPM and the M stands for medium. This isn't a very big filter, it's only got two trays and this was sent to me by a fella called Andy. Thank you very much, Andy. Unfortunately, when it arrived, it had nothing at all in, but if you want to see what will come with this, if you buy one, then by all means, click the link that I'll put in the video description. It comes with all sorts of stuff, and for the most part, you really don't need half the stuff that comes in here. Okay, so I think I'll get the top off, I'll bring the camera in, I'll let you see how the water flows through this thing and then we'll set it up with foams and media. So let's take a look at how this works. We've got our inlet here, which spits through here, into this area, spills over the side of the trays, it goes down the outside and there's a huge gap down that outside on all sides so it goes down there into that little space in the bottom there and then it rises up through our trees then it comes out of the top of the top tree into our pump back out to our tank now before I start on about what I don't really like about this filter I might as well tell you what I do like about it it's reasonably compact and in each tray you've got a divider so if you did want to go the chemical route you could have your foams underneath that divider as I did in the video bit of media on top bio media underneath here as well and then your chemical media in the top it's a nice way to separate them Right then, now that we've taken a look at how this thing actually works, let's take a look at how it should be set up, or in fact, how I have set it up. All right, let's get these out. It's the top one. That top one is entirely filled with Biohome Ultimate. And that is our divider. That's actually just used as an extra screen on the top. You could take that out altogether if you wanted. Now bottom tray, that has got a little bit of Biohome Ultimate on. It is approximately 400 grams in there and about 1.4 kilos. So altogether you've just got under two kilos, which is about four and a half pound if you're in the US. tip that out and we'll have a look underneath this divider and here we've got our coarse medium and fine pads in the right order so the water hits them from the bottom travels up through the coarse medium and fine and if you've noticed here instead of putting both of these foams bumpy side down to save on space I've actually knitted them together well not knitted them as in crocheted them together but I've pushed them together so that they, they lock in like that. That saves a little bit of space, allows us to get that fine pad in and it allows us to get a little bit of important media into that bottom tray. Ordinarily, these would be like that. So you've got big surface area, useful voids there for trapping muck, big surface area and then onto your fine pad. But with only two trays in here, we're trying to save as much space as possible. So bumpy side to bumpy side gives us a little bit more space in the tray. Now before I put these trays back in, you'll notice that I've put nothing in here. Generally, I would put tiny little ceramic rings just to settle out the heavy muck. But in here, there really is no space. We've got little legs on the bottom of here and they're gonna interfere with what tiny space we've got here. So if I put rings in there, you can guarantee one of them will be standing up 
and I wouldn't be able to get the tray in properly. So that's a bit of wasted space there. You know, you add that bottom wasted space, you add all the wasted space around the sides, and it all adds up. Yeah, take a look at that. Kind of quite get your finger in around the side, but if you add up all of that volume that's wasted all the way around there, right down to the bottom, plus that wasted area in the bottom, it adds up. Now according to API, who sell these, this is suitable for 75 US gallons, or 285 litres, with a flow rate of 1150 litres per hour, or 300 US gallons. Okay, so in there we've got 1.8 kilos of Biohome Ultimate. You may get 2 kilos in in total, but it, it would be a little bit of a squeeze. And we've also got our coarse, medium and fine foams. That's really all we need in there. And that makes it suitable for somewhere between 180 to 200 litres. I will put a link to this in the video description and in the pinned comment. There's not many of these available in the UK because as far as I know, API is an American company. So the link that I put on may direct you to Amazon.com. Certainly if you're in the UK, it'll send you there, I would think. But um, click it and see. Hopefully it'll go to your nearest supplier. Personally, I think for what they are, they're a little bit expensive when you look at what you can get from Aqua One and even All Pond Solutions in the UK or Sun Sun elsewhere. They're okay. If you can pick one up second hand, go for it. They hold a reasonable amount of media, but you have got those issues with the wasted space. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it wherever you want. Check out my other videos because I've done loads on different filters. Fair enough, a lot of them are set up the same, but if you've got a specific filter, look through the playlist on my channel. You might just see your filter there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.